having faith, you can get through anything. And that by having a church like this, it will get you through the roughest and darkest times. And you'll get through it a better and stronger person. And if you don't, for some reason, you can be with him in the end. Uh, my name's Ken Mock, and I'm 53 years old. I've always been an active person. I've always wanted to be involved in things. And music has always been a huge part of my life. Ever since I was a little kid, I was in uh, choirs in college, got to tour in England and Italy. It was the place where I felt closest to God and that I had a talent and a gift that I could use to help bring other people closer to God. It was about Christmas of 2021 when I started feeling like I was having problems singing. And by Easter, um, I had almost lost my voice to the part, point where I couldn't sing on a weekly basis. I wasn't actually diagnosed with cancer until August of that year. And what they discovered was there was a spot on my vocal cords. It was a very rare cancer, and it was in a spot that they don't usually find that type of cancer. When, when you hear the C word, it does something to you. You feel fear, tears. It was and still is devastating. You, you hear your own voice in your head. You hear the harmonies and the melodies. There have been times where I've been angry with God. You know, why why this? You know, take a take an arm, take a leg. Um, don't don't take my voice because that's my joy, that's my gift. It's made me a much better listener because I can't talk over people anymore. It, it's that faith that that kept me sane through it all, that made me push on and, and wanted to to keep going because there were days when I had tubes down my throat that I just didn't know what I wanted um, but there was always somebody there to pick me up there was always God that I could go and talk to I know there's a lot of people at church right now that it's struggling with cancer and other serious things that are going on you gotta have that faith you gotta find it in yourself to find somebody that went through something like you did Talk to your pastors. Don't push people away. Bring them inside. God is good and God will get you through this. Um, and if one door shuts, another one will open. I've always been a doer. You know, I've always, I can't just sit around and do nothing. And God allowed me to take a bigger role in the worship ministry and be a leader there. He gave me the abilities to uh, work with the tech team and do the online sound and now the in-house sound. Help me to find purpose and help me to find a way to use my other gifts in, in serving him and in serving other people. When I take a step back and I look at how I came to find out I had cancer, that if I hadn't had the gift of singing, I probably would not have pushed as hard to find out what was wrong with me. And if I hadn't started that journey when I did, I could not be here today. Yes, sometimes I get mad, but God didn't punish me. God didn't cause this. He gave me my gift and that gift saved my life. I know Pastor Bruce has talked about that He's not in a hurry to get to heaven, but he definitely wants to get there one day. I've always felt the same way, but this is the first time that I've probably really looked forward to going to heaven because I can't wait to sing again with the angels. And I'm okay if it's not for a very long time, but I am very much now looking forward to that day when I'll be able to sing again. Then through the darkness, your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul. The work is finished, the end is written. Jesus Christ, my Lord.